Hello friends. Today I will talk to you about cardiovascular diseases in diabetes. As you know that the most common cause of death in diabetes is coronary artery disease. And CAD is three to five times more common in diabetes as compared to general population. Not only CAD, even the peripheral muscular diseases are a, a very common cause of problem in diabetes. In fact, next to trauma, the commonest cause of amputation in the world is diabetes. But remember, the most common cause of trauma, uh, most common cause of amputation is trauma. So, both peripheral muscular disease and CAD are a big problem in diabetes. Regarding peripheral vascular disease, remember it leads to wet gangrene. And it spread very fast. This is a very frequently asked question also. Wet gangrene occurs in diabetes. So it spread very fast. Right? Suppose that gangrene is occurring in the great toe in the morning. Maybe by evening, the, it may proceed much proximal to grade 2 also. So that's why any gangrene in a diabetic patient should be taken as a case in emergency. So now we come back to coronary artery disease. As I told you, it uh, is and it's three to five times more common and the commonest cause of death in diabetes is CAD. Now come the new concept, metabolic membrane. also known as legacy effect. Legacy effect. Let us see, what is this? Suppose <coughs> I'm sitting in my OPD, a patient of diabetes come to me and he's diabetic for last 10 years. And I say, and I give a counseling, and as I say, if you don't control your sugar, you are three to five times more likely to have heart attack, so-called coronary artery disease. Now he says, okay, doctor, I agree with you. <clears throat> From tomorrow onward, I'll control my sh sugar very well. So now he asks you a question, doctor. If I control my sugar from tomorrow, will my chances of heart attack will be as like a general population today it is three to five times more common but tomorrow onward if i control sugar will it be same as general population so your answer should be no it will not be uh, like a general population from tomorrow because it will come to normal level only after a few years that means body remembers what you have done to the body and this is known as legacy effect or so called metabolic membrane now, next point, why CAD and peripheral vascular disease are very common in diabetes? Because of dyslipidemia. Because in diabetes, a lot of dyslipidemia occurs which predisposed to atherosclerosis. Now come the very frequently asked question. What is the earliest dyslipidemia to occur in diabetes? It is race triglyceride. It's a very, very important point. Remember, in all secondary dyslipidemia, like diabetes, the first thing to get delayed is race triglyceride. But there are two notable exceptions where, despite secondary dyslipidemia, the LDL cholesterol goes high. And the two notable exceptions are where increase LDL occur is nephrotic syndrome and hypothyroid. It's very, very important to remember. So secondary dyslipidemia with increase LDL. Now, of course, in the advanced stage of diabetes, Everything get deranged, that means there will be increased triglyceride, 
there will be increased LDL and there will be reduced HDL. That's why in, in advanced case of diabetes, we always prescribe statins. But recently in India, a new drug has been introduced in Indian market and this name is not given in latest Harrison also. And in fact, this name you will not get in most of the pharma book also. The, now the name of the drug is Ciroglitazar. It's one drug which act on the PP, AR, alpha and gamma receptors. So due to PP, AR, gamma receptor, it controls sugar, it reduces sugar. But due to PPAR alpha receptor, it reduces lipid also. Lipid also. So this is a unique drug having dual action of reducing sugar as well as reducing lipids. And as I told you, it's a latest drug which has been introduced in, in India, not given in Harrison 90 edition. This question will surely come to you in the coming uh, NEET or DNB or in the AIMS exam. But this name is given in uh, my book, in our book, Medicine is Sense, as well as uh, Medicine Textbook, simplified. Now, one more new thing you should know. The new thing is about role of BP control. Role of BP control in diabetes. This is something, again, a new concept has come, a lot of new things have come. So you should know what is the role of BP control in diabetes. So let's take a case. I have got one patient whose sugar is very high. His BP is also very high. And he goes to a diabetes specialist. Diabetes specialist controls only his sugar. He doesn't take care of his blood pressure. What will happen to his complication like coronary artery disease? His, this complication will reduce this much only. I got another patient whose sugar is high, BP is very high, and he goes to a cardiologist, and cardiologist control his BP only. Sugar is not controlled. Now what do you think? What will happen to uh, uh, macrovascular complication diabetes like CAD? What do you think? Macrovascular complication will go down drastically. Point to be noted. In diabetic patients, sugar not controlled, but you control BP, macrovascular complications go down drastically. If you control sugar, macrovascular uh, complications are reduced only minimal. This is a new concept has come up. So now what they say in diabetic patients, not only you should control diabetes, you should also control BP. It's equally important, especially to reduce macrovascular complications. The drug of choice in diabetes with hypertension is ACEI. ACEI. But why ACEI? Because not only it controls the BP, but it also reduces progression of nephropathy. Now a new drug, a new concept. We have one drug, tell me certain. Tell me certain. It's the only ARB which also act on the PPAR gamma receptors. PPAR gamma receptors. So it's a new drug, unique thing. So because it controls BP as well as controls sugar also. And this name is not given in latest Hansen also. Not given in any of the textbook also. But this question had come in May. In AIMS, May 2016. And this question was taken from our medicine uh, essence book. It was taken from that. It is given in that, but not given in later Harrison also. So friends, we got a new thing about tell me certain also. So in finally, what we learned today in a diabetic patient, so to summarize the whole show, what carry home message is number first point three to five times is the first word second key word is wet gangrene third key word is legacy effect fourth key word is increased triglyceride 
fifth keyword increase LDL in nephrotic syndrome and hypothyroid. Then so next keyword is seroglitazar. Then the next keyword is ACEI. And the next keyword is tell me certain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. These are the eight points that you got to remember in cardiovascular uh, involvement in diabetes. Thank you very much for watching this video. Many of the previous lectures I have uploaded in the YouTube. You can very well see those lectures. And if you want to see any particular topic uh, you want to learn, you send me the message on my messenger. I'll be too happy to take those topics in the future lectures. Thank you very much once again.